All right, guys, you got a 2014 Camry, uh, 13 Camry, 2013, 14 should be same. So there it is. Uh, we're going to scan this baby. It, I believe it gave us a code. All right, so now we got this baby up on the jack. What we're going to do is we're going to go underneath. I got my knee pad right here. And uh, here, here we are. Here we are. Right here is our sensor. So first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect this baby. So right here, you need to push on this tab here and pull the sensor out. Usually you can do it with one hand. Uh, you should be able to push this tab right here and pull the sensor out. And I usually like to get it out of this housing here. You can probably just wiggle it out of there and it will come off just like that. And then. I'm gonna get this off, so all you need to do is push on this tab and pull on this sensor. Let's see if I can get it with one hand. I had it budged a bit. I can feel that, you go. If I can do it with one hand, you guys can do it. But now, you can buy, you can put a tool here. This is a 22 millimeter, okay? If this doesn't work, I am gonna go get a proper tool, but this should work. I might not have good leverage, but let's see what it does, okay? Okay, we're gonna have to get some good leverage here and uh, let's see if I can get my proper tool. But 22 millimeter will work on it, okay? Sometimes you gotta tap on it and I don't have a mount stand for my camera so I can't let go of the camera and I cannot like go back and hit it, okay? So I just get me a proper tool. Okay, so what I did was I pre loosened it so you guys can see and I just banged it really hard and this baby will come off be careful if it's hot you don't want to burn your hands but this sensor is probably it's the original sensor in there look at that look at how bad that sensor is okay so i'll do another video on cleaning on this guy but it's really not much i'd rather just change it the sensor is not that expensive so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put this baby to the side and wait for the new sensor i'll show you part number and the cost of it before we put it in Okay guys, here it is, oxygen sensor, you guys see the part number there, Denso 2344622, 20 Camry, uh, oxygen sensor, 4 wire, uh, list price is $110, but I paid $60.87, usually I sell it for the same price and uh, charge tax, but if you go buy it off an account that you don't have a commercial account, it might cost you a little bit more, so here's the part number inside this, uh, should be a 4 wire sensor which is torn apart <laughs> somebody already touched it i hate when they do that and it's missing um the little tube with uh part number is the same there so i'm gonna make sure the part number is same on the part on the part itself uh anyways i'm uh, missing the ntc's but that's fine anyways let's put this baby back in the car okay so here's a little thing that i said i was missing from the package uh it's the ntc so you want to put this all around these threads just a tiny bit and even if you get one little spot it will just spin around and get all around so you want to get this all around the threads here and like i said if you put a little bit in one spot when you turn it it's going to capture everywhere anyways i'm going to get this completed and we're going to go on to the vehicle it's up nice and good got the ndc's in let's go on to the vehicle we're gonna go underneath here got my knee pad on the floor here and you don't need to do anything whatsoever you take this little guy you stick this baby in and what we're gonna do here is get thing, this thing nice and caught up with the threads after this you want to either torque it or if you don't have a torque wrench just take your 22 millimeter and you're gonna just snug it, okay? Usually this is like around 33 foot pound. Uh, mechanic hand, best. There you go, perfect. What you wanna do next is, you wanna take your sensor and you wanna connect it. It's only gonna connect the one way, okay? Um, you see this little retainer right here? That goes towards this, uh, the, the push clip here. So it won't even fit any other way. It's only gonna go one way. And make sure it clicks like that and make sure you put this baby back into the slot. All you do is you go to the rear end and you slip it right in there. It slips right in. 
Okay, I'm on the wrong, no, I'm on the correct side. And it slips right in. Once I get it in there, that's it. I'm gonna leave it there. But that's it, we're all done. Even if you wanna strap tie it, you can strap tie it. After that, just reset your light and uh, give it a good about 100 miles before you go to inspection. If you got an inspection due, because you will fail. It does have a cycle. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching my video. See you guys on the next one. Uh, shield is all off. See you guys on more videos.